Aside from stabilizing footage, another fantastic strength of the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 is its ability to capture time-lapse and motion-lapse footage. A good time-lapse clip allows you to present a setting or show the passage of time between two scenes, and being able to move the camera to multiple points in a motion-lapse clip makes it all the more interesting to watch. Let me show you how to use motion lapse on the Osmo and what some motion lapse clips look like shot on the iPhone XS Max. This is episode 5 of a mini series I'm making about using iPhone XS Max with DJI Osmo Mobile 2, so watch the videos you may have missed and subscribe now to see upcoming episodes. Also, follow me on Instagram if you haven't. Here's the link. Anyway, here we go. Open the DJI Go app and turn on the Osmo. From the main screen, Tap the normal film icon on the left and select Motion Lapse. Next, choose the Osmo starting position and up to four more positions you want it to move to, then tap Next. As in my previous video, choose your interval and duration. Next to Generate, you can see how long the clip will be depending on the parameters you've chosen above. If you want to be able to see your footage clearly as you shoot, check the Keep Screen Lightened during Time Lapse box. Otherwise, leave the box unchecked and tap Start. Now, you're capturing footage. You can either wait until the Osmo finishes recording, or you can press the record button to end the clip whenever you want. Now, check out what you can do with motion lapse.